Southern Kiss Cancer supports children and their families affected by a neuroblastoma. The Neuroblastoma Parent Education Conference is provided free to families. It's a resource for those families who are seeking information and we bring leading experts in neuroblastoma from across the world to share their research with families. I have attended the conference from the very, very beginning, from the very first conference we ever did. I have seen this conference grow and grow. That network gives hope to families, and every time I come, I notice how brilliant it is for people. It's very interesting to get views of parents from different sites who are managed in different centres and to get a real cross-section of opinion as to what it feels like to be involved in the system at different places. It was fantastic, and it was a very good balance of scientific as well as ethical information. It really advances the science so much faster. We are able to not only inform families about the latest treatments, but we're also able to provide emotional and practical support. The key thing to do is to maintain a coalition of professionals and parents to work together. In meetings like this, we get to, to interchange, to see what views of the parents, and, and that definitely helps us and, and pushes us to, to continue our work. As long as I've known this charity, they, that's always been their mission, to accelerate integration of new options for the kids, so we really appreciate that. My youngest son, Corey, was diagnosed with high-risk neuroblastoma in April 2011. And at that point, we'd become quite disconnected from friends and some family just because I was envious of their life carrying on as normal. And I came early on to a parents meeting organised through the charity. I just took a lot of comfort from being around parents that are either going through or have been through the same. As my son, Phelan, um was diagnosed of neuroblastoma in 2014. I think there is a, a lot of opportunity out there for this charity to help families like, like our family. Networking with other families has been a blessing to, to, to us. I remember hearing of um, Solving Kids Cancer um, when Isabella was first diagnosed in 2010. Obviously I know at the moment what's available in the UK for Isabella, but I want to see what's available throughout the world as well. So I knew this was the best place to come to, to get that information. I've had a chat with some fantastic doctors from all over the world today, and uh, I think we've got more of an understanding now of, of where to go next, so it's been fantastic. I think it's giving hope to as many families as possible. We were in that position some years ago when my son Felix uh, was diagnosed with neuroblastoma and they really helped us through the treatment and the, uh, and, and the fundraising. So when we meet parents, the, the most striking uh, thing is their resilience, how they fight for uh, their families, for their kids, and how they can interact with us, with, uh, with the researchers, to get the, the best treatments for their children and also for children for the future. It's been a fantastic weekend. I've been so impressed by the families, by the children, by their resilience. I'm really admiring of them. I'm so pleased that so many clinicians spent hours informally speaking to individual parents. I think it's fantastic and uh, I can't wait to plan and participate in next year's conference. <laughs>